Hello! So, part of the intention of this channel is to awaken the hearts and minds of average people like yourself and I, and to... Well, what do I mean by awaken? By awaken, I mean to reclaim one's awareness, to be fully embodied, to have sovereignty in one's mind, body, and spirit. I'm in a training right now. I'm in a Kundalini training by Carolyn Cowan out of the UK. And in our manual, there is a few paragraphs that I'd like to read with you to leave you um, to think about um, as far as what is really going on in the world and how we can reclaim power. So she says, Mind, body, spirit has been so horribly overused as a term to the point that it literally means nothing. The reconnection of these three states is imperative to our well-being and the ability to hold ourselves in this world as the chaos takes over. Let's re-explore these three states and see how they will resonate again through the practices included in this manual and experienced in the training. From there, to be taken out into classes, which I intend to share with you and teach a few classes, more on that later. The mind comes first in line with good reason. We have been taught to make our mind our own personal king, to believe its thoughts, projections, and wild terrors as absolute truths. In this section on the negativity bias, you can see what power it holds over our relationship to reality and how we have evolved to this place as the most dangerous creature on earth. Between the negativity bias and the amygdala, when both are rampant and unchecked, we are lost in the world, alone, and afraid, abandoned in the jungles of our terrors day and night. A random group of men have been given all power to take over the world, our thoughts and feelings, our needs, our ability to bear ourselves, how we work, and what we then do with the money we earn. It is dystopian in extremes, and no one seems to mind at all. Pardon the pun. The news media, the internet, social media, our smartphones, data capture, and financial pressure have led us, have led most of us to exist in a world that is an illusion. It is quite fantastic the power that exclusively reside mentally and emotionally in the hands of the hands and realms of vast mega corporations who manipulate our every waking moment, our emotional body, and what we consider normal, how we use money, and how we should look and feel. Take a look at these books. There are two books that she suggests Love in the Age of the Internet by Linda Kundi, C U N D Y, and Don't Be Evil by Rana. Forohar, which is F-O-R-O-O-H-A-R, both of which can help to give you a view of the seduction that is being played out. Our brains have been ratcheted up to states of horror, overwhelm, shock, terror, fear, and wild projection from the moment we pick up our phones, which we have to have with us at all times. We are now hardwired to be comparing ourselves, feeling less than, realizing we are not good enough, Thin enough, pretty enough, young enough, or will ever be rich enough. And it is interesting to see that there is no invitation to filter the information overload, to verify what is being shown to us, to fight against what we are seeing, or to take a moment and ask, do I really need to care about this? Can I do anything useful in this scenario? Do I want to participate? Can I do something in my immediate environment rather than be horrified by an event on the other side of the globe? These questions are a vital beginning in the journey towards a sense of wholeness and the ability to bear self. To know what you think needs to be checked, not only verified, but often actually stopped. Here begins the journey towards managing the amygdala and from there the whole being. So this is Carolyn Cowan. She has all kinds of resources online and I am in her Kundalini Global Teacher Training um, Level 1 practice. And the reason why I joined this training is because 
back in 2020, I started doing this Kriya called Sudarshan Chakra Kriya, and I did it for 40 days, and it really changed my life. And people say that, you know, it really changed my life. What does that really mean? A sense of joy, peace, confidence, personal power, ease. Uh, my relationship with life changed. My relationship with myself changed. My nervous system changed. I wasn't as easily agitated. I wasn't constantly worrying. I wasn't thinking about past or future. I was just in the now. And life, we had a better relationship where I would have synchronicities and I would um, be finding my way, making choices through life with a, with a deeper sense of being on a path and not being alone, actually working with life. It was quite quite mystical and something that I think you just have to experience and that words are not really going to bear justice. But anyway, just wanted to share that with you. Um, and if any of the words that I said popped out to you, like amygdala, for example, go and research. Find the experts on the subject. This is what I do. I find experts on a certain subject or on a certain problem that I'm currently facing. I find those experts and then I find who did they learn from. You don't want to learn from experts, you want to learn from who experts learn from. And that will really vroom, 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 get you to um, a, a, a better place quick. And then be in a devotional practice to that which you're learning. It's, it's one thing to learn the information and it's another thing to really get the information inside of you so that way it becomes a part of you and only until then do you really see change. And that's it. Ciao.